Well, first up today, how'd you sleep last night? Mm, okay. Okay. Yeah, well, you had a flight. And yeah, I know you drama, took drama mean. Um, tomorrow is actually National Sleep Apnea Awareness Day. So today we're going to try to help you get your Z's and recognize the signs and symptoms of a problem, too. Yes, Elias. I hear snoring. These are, these are big names for me to say right here. <laughs> Elias Kalanzas. Close. close enough. Okay, close and Dr. Enough. Roberta Montiagudo. Montiagudo, very close enough. Close. Yeah. Okay, <laughs> Roberto, uh, with sleeptest.com. Thanks for yes. being here, you guys. You guys you. know what a BLT is, right? Actually, yeah, I love BLT. Thank you. Okay. Yeah, so yeah. You I wouldn't do a side either. salad with cherry tomatoes and bacon <laughs> on the side and chive cream cheese on toast. I, the cherry tomato, I don't like tomatoes, so, but I'll take everything else. <laughs> okay, That's you'll fine. just get the, the yeah. BL. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Nice All right, to good have to have you guys. you guys here. Yeah, let's, I mean, sleep awareness, sleep apnea uh, awareness yeah. month important for people to know about. We've talked about it a lot in the show because it's very, very important and people can never hear enough. What is it for those people who still don't know? Sleep apnea is uh, it's, uh, caused by an obstruction in the upper airway. So it's categorized by uh, repetitive pauses in breath during sleep. Mm -hmm. What That's if you don't get it treated? Can it be serious? Absolutely. It could be life-threatening. Uh, without treatment, it increases the chances of a heart attack, stroke, type 2 diabetes, and even sudden death by more than 46%. Mm. Are there symptoms? Can people know if they're potentially having sleep apnea? That's a great question. Um, you know, the, the two biggest symptoms are snoring and daily fatigue. So a lot of times, most Americans during the day are tired at some point between 1 and 4 p.m. That's a big indicator for uh, being at risk. Mm. For sure. What kind of treatment options exist right now to treat this problem? A lot of people are familiar with the CPAP yeah. mask. Yeah, well, you, you do have the CPAP, okay? Mm -hmm. uh, weight loss. Some people try the little nose strips. Um, and we're, we're here to talk about uh, an oral appliance that actually dentists can make to help patients that have mild to moderate sleep apnea. Okay. And also for those patients that have severe sleep apnea but can't tol really tolerate the CPAP. Okay, mm -hmm. so what you're saying is there's a dental, something you can put in your mouth yeah. and sleep with, I'm mm -hmm. guessing, that's going to help with sleep apnea. So how does it work? Yeah, that's a very good question. Actually, it's called. Oh, it's colorful. Yeah, it's very, very. red, white. <laughs> if you want to point it toward camera sure. one, there, there that'd be go. great, doctor. Thank okay. you. Okay, there you go. Uh huh. Um, basically, what it is, it's a uh, in, in, in the field we call it a mandibular advancement device or an MAD, and what it does, it just basically brings the jaw down and forward to open the airway. It's a very simple concept. And any dentist that is properly trained in sleep medicine and how to, how, how to use these devices can, can make one for, <coughs> for a patient. Excuse me. So how about in terms of people using it and user effectiveness? Because I feel like a lot of people who wear retainers end up kind of taking them out in the middle mm -hmm. of the night. Is mm -hmm. that common or is it something that people like, you know, people who choose this, they know that they can keep it in well? Well, the thing is that most patients that have CPAPs just don't. You know, the ones that don't tolerate it just don't use them. Mm -hmm. Okay, so they're they're ready for an alternative device. So they're ready to try anything. And yeah, you know, there are some patients that unfortunately, at the you know, first day or so, they you know, it's a little get getting used, used to. to it. But after that, it's 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 really for them. It's a godsend. Mm -hmm. And do you find that people tolerate it um, sometimes better than a CPAP mask? Yes, I do. Yeah, yeah, I believe that. How did you guys happen to, to connect that you're both here today and, and consider treatment of sleep apnea using a dental device? Sure. Well, you know, tomorrow Sleep Apnea Awareness Day, as you said, Dr. Montaguda is our local representative for sleeptest.com. And he uh, uh, got involved because of uh, your, your mother, was it? Yeah, my mom a few years ago was, uh, was diagnosed with sleep apnea. Mm -hmm. And so she would constantly complain about the hoses and that in the air. And so um, I, I told her, Mom, I, I heard something, that there's something in the dental field. I researched it, um, became educated, and, and then I decided to do that. So we've been doing it for the last six or seven years or so. Um, and then I met Elias. And our, our main goal is to educate patients that there is an alternative out there if they can't tolerate the CPAP. Um, uh, so that's how we kind of hooked up, and that's why we're here. I think it's important that you, there are alternatives, different things yeah. for people to try. The in-home sleep test, exactly what is it, and what are you, because I know you're offering this to all our viewers, too. Yeah. Um, we usually hear uh, the, 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 the sleep tests at different facilities, those are called polysonograms, and um, now, uh, and these are all FDA cleared, where you can have a sleep test at home in the comfort of your own bed, 
and we could actually see if, 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 you are, if you do have sleep apnea or not. And if you do have severe sleep apnea, what we'll usually do is then send you to some of those sleep centers for more in-depth testing. Well, yeah, because most people mm -hmm. are familiar yeah. with the overnight sleep yes. study where you actually mm -hmm. go yeah. somewhere and you, you show them how you can sleep. Yeah, this, up. yeah exactly. Yeah. This is something that you can do in the comfort of your own home but still get results. Yeah, um, I mean, when you're doing the sleep test at, at a facility, they're, they're very, uh, they have a sleep tech there. They're, they're, they're very... Uh, 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 detailed, but it's also you're, you're in a foreign bed. Mm -hmm. and one of the biggest complaints that I get some, from some of my uh, clients or patients, basically, is the fact that they don't feel comfortable. Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. And, and well, yeah. Excuse me, this is a less detailed look mm -hmm. at mm -hmm. typical, more accurate night's sleep. And Dr. Montagudo, as you said, he's been gracious enough to offer all of Milwaukee residents and uh, Morning Blend viewers a free in home sleep mm -hmm. test for the entire month of April. That's amazing. Yeah. So you wear that at night? And then How you many get the minutes? results. Yeah. Yeah, you 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 could call one eight hundred sleep test sleeptest dot mm -hmm. com. They'll schedule an appointment at Dr. Montagudo's office, do an evaluation. You'll take it home for one night, bring it back in the next morning. They'll have a board certified sleep physician who reads and diagnoses the study. That's and then great. you get the results. Then you get the results mm -hmm. and you come yes. back in for treatment options. That's fantastic. I think it's wonderful. I think Thank it's you. great that it's an easy way for people to do it at it at home so that you can feel comfortable in your own home, but test it, see if you do have sleep apnea. The information on your screen, free in-home sleep tests through the rest of the month. The average cost for this is $500, but right now, again, they're giving it free to all Morning Blend viewers. If you call the 800 number on your screen, it's 1-800-SLEEP-TEST, sleeptest.com. If you have someone who you love who snores a lot, maybe you're having a hard time sleeping, you're, you're tired a lot between that one to four range, it might be good to get checked out, and it's free of charge. Thanks for being here, gentlemen. Well, thank, thank you very, very much. much. It was a pleasure. Thank, thank you. you.